family, visiting friends, um, and the board uh, for my first wedding. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to give this talk to Michael this morning because we go back a long, long way. We actually grew up together in the same place on the road called the Henry Road, the Henry Road. And the first point I would like to touch on is our growing up days. Um, Michael and I, we used to go around the neighborhood, play ball. Um, as a matter of fact, before I started, I started last night to say um, that I should sit down and really hear a speech or hear a toast. And I got so nervous after I thought about it. I said, Lord, let me speak from my heart. So Michael, I'm going to speak from my heart and not to speak. <laughs> Uh, growing up, Michael and I used to go around playing ball and doing all the other things, you know, young fellas used to do. Of course, that was the ring leader to go and steal all the people balls for me. <laughs> and when I got there, I would get Michael to stop. He knew me. He never said very much. But in all of that, growing up with Michael, he was always quiet, never had very much to say. But most of all, the qualities that he had was he was very, very respectful. Respectful to the parents, which I noticed, and literally, if somebody is respectful to the parents, you got to go Okay? And I thought, of, I thought I said to uh, also mention that one time, Michael and I we went out to Black Pluto. I was told not to mention this, but I'm going to mention it anyway. We went out to Black Pluto one day, and Michael was very fond of like that thing, Disco. Disco. Michael said, I'm not too sure. And he said, Disco anyway. And those people, Michael and Harry, were so good. I said, Michael, let's go. So we went. We proceeded to our road. When we got there, Michael decided, uh, he stood, he looked at the Bible, he said, you know, I don't think we really should be doing this. I said, you mean we come all the way to our road and you ain't get no Bible? He said, I think we So I proceeded and I went into the Bible tree. Michael followed. Come up. So Michael came up. The funny thing about it is, when he came up, I went down. <laughs> and right there and then, I didn't realize that the man who owned the property was looking at us. <laughs> so he came up, and Michael, myself, I think it was Google, and <laughs> And when he said, uh, who's that that on the tree? We bring off of that. What do we do with us? So we got home long before Michael. Long before Michael. Michael was still in the tree. <laughs> so we got home, pretended as though nothing had happened. And I knew it happened because anytime I got into trouble, the first place I went was the Bishop Swan House. I think it was the preacher, so I ran straight there. But I didn't say anything because I figured my two would have gone away. Lo and behold, I'm in the front of sitting down, still nervous. Because I said, well, I don't know what happened to my door. I'm here. Door, somebody knocked the door, on the door, on the door, and I remember. And the swan came to the door and she said, yes. <laughs> The man had Michael Tan tied behind his back. By this time, Brother Swan was still away, doing his religious duties, not knowing which one is back home to him, feeling my love. 
Thank you. 